Tommy a dinosaur. Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So the Tommy a dinosaur has turned up, and very very excited about this car. Um, I've let quite a few of these go in the past. Um, I've actually had a, a, a Dynastorm on the channel probably, I don't know, 15, 16 months ago and I ended up swapping it. I really wanted to keep it but I got the offer to swap it for a TRF 503 um, and I did that deal. Anyway, um, so a massive shout out to Danny if you're watching for getting this deal over the line with me. Mega appreciated. So this is the um, Riri Dynastorm which is quite weird saying that considering it came out in 2002 so it's a re re but it's actually 18 years old now which is just incredible um so the purpose of this video is we're going to have a look at the car and then after we've done that i'll go through and i'll tell you what my plans are for this because i want this to be a little bit special so um yeah please watch to the end if you're interested in that kind of stuff so as i said this was the missing part of the jigsaw on my new two-wheel drive quest. If you're following the channel, you'll know that a while ago we got the DTO2 MS. We've had that out, it's a superb car, lovely chassis. We've had that on the track, speed runs and all that. Um, I've, I've also now got um, um, a Riri Tamiya Super Astute to build. That thing's gonna be epic, that's gonna be full carbon, TRF shocks, really trick paint job. Um, so that's a super astute and in between that before I got hold of this I got hold of a TRF 201 which um, Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one That's gonna have a really cool body shell oh, That's gonna have a team Azari. I don't know how you pronounce it 201 race shell on it done in TRF colors um, so obviously the gap in between that um, was the Dynastorm now if you've seen my um, video I did with David Jews on his mega 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 rare TRF 211X um, from that it became apparent that I really needed to um, get hold of a Dynastorm because basically the Dynastorm came from the 211X uh, and there was only a, a hundred to 150 of those 211Xs built. Now obviously this is not a 211X. Um, I would probably go out on a limb and say this is this is way better this is more refined I hope I'm right in saying that um, but anyway before we go into any more of that stuff let's bring the camera over and I'll show you what we've got with this car so the car itself is almost in mint condition in my opinion it's um, it's had an extremely um, easy life absolutely beautiful thing this um, so it's all original now if you not don't know too much about this the um, 2002 Riri is hardly any different to the original it's almost identical a couple of bearings and a, an odd washer here and there I believe um, so it's it really is like having the original um, prices on these things are going through the roof and always have done to be honest I've paid £340 for this car um, which it was right on my limit for it to be honest but um, you've got to have one um, the shocks are rather special um, and I'll talk about that in future videos because I'm going to do something special with these shocks um, if you look at that front angle of how that, that wheel um, that suspension it goes backwards instead of up that's not the best angle to show you that Let's see if i can lift the camera up and then you can see it yeah it's not really coming across is it but it's 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 actually going backwards which is really cool um the car itself comes with um the pink motor now i'm quite geeky and i like sort of learning about new things the there's actually three pink motors available um, the original 14 turn Acto power motor came with the original um, Dynastorm which was mega cool when they did the Riri they, they brought the second motor out now what this is is basically a super stock um, Canon N bell but it has the actual 14 turn Acto power rotor inside it um, 
without any decal on it, doesn't have the white decal on it. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb because I've not taken this motor out yet, but I, I believe this is fixed timing where the original actor power was basically a modified motor with adjustable timing. Um, I'm also just having a look. Don't think it's got bearings fitted, which is interesting. And there's a screw missing in the end bell. So there's one where my finger is, but there's the top one between the wires is missing. Now, again, I'm not sure if that's correct, if it's just actually missing or um, the motor didn't come like that. So, oh, sorry, before I go on to what I'm going to do with that, and then the, apparently when this kit came out with this motor, people weren't happy. They really did want the actor power motor with it. So the actual third pink motor that came out separately was the uh, original actor power but again it didn't have the decal on it just had the pink can but it had the, the correct um, actor power rotor and more importantly the end bell for adjustable timing um, so apparently that's because people kind of kicked off when the re, re came out so there's, there's actually three different pink motors now what I've done, I've already ordered the um, actor power decal from MCI because it makes it look way different. When we do get into this, um, I'm going to put bearings in the motor um, and I might also have a play with the um, the tabs on the M-Bell, um, put under a, a second screw in there and see if we can actually make it adjustable timing. Because um, as I said, that is a correct, that is a genuine 14 turn um actor power rotor in there but that's again that's for um, the future um, what else is as you can see very basic design now the chassis is FRP or GRP I'm never sure which they are um, but we're going to full carbon on this but anyway I'll talk about that at the end now I have, I've taken the spaces out of the shocks and that's why it's sort of sitting all over it's really down on the back end and up on the front <laughs> Um, but if you just look at the steering you can get on this thing, it's pretty incredible to be honest. And those shocks are super smooth. So that's basically the car, um, it's fully ball raced as standard, it has the little rear gearbox, there's a little FRP plate here which we'll be changing soon. Now this particular car has the original rear tyres on it which is another cool thing. Um, what was I just going to show you? Oh, it's got rear UJs, and probably the most special thing about it was the um, Tamiya MDC, which stands for what was it? Multi disc, multi disc clutch system. So obviously the um, you had the Astu, and then the Super Astu came out with the Tamiya traction control gearbox, the TTC, which just still had its issues, and then from the two one one X. Um, came a Dynastorm with the MDC gearbox, which is, I say, multi-disc, so it's, it's supposed to be way better. Um, I think that's about it for the car. So this is a really cool thing that came with the car. Um, this is an original, um, I think it's 1992, um, Dynastorm shell. Um, let me see if I can show you the print, wherever it says it. So that print down the bottom. Coming across on camera, made it. What's it say? Uh, made in Japan, and it's got a Tamiya trademark and 1992 stamped on it. And then up on this end, what's it say? Uh, Dynastorm. That's mega cool. That's got no protective um, film on it whatsoever. It's got the holes uh, in it already, um, but obviously it's it's uncut. So that's mega cool. Um, I did get the um, wing with it, but it's a reproduction wing. Um, but again, that's not a problem for me whatsoever. See the sharp cut lines on it. I'm not too sure who that, who, who's made that. Definitely not a TBG one with the um, transparent protective film on it. So we've got everything we need for it. So let's go back and talk about what I'm going to do to it. So I want this to be really special for me. Um, I also want to give the Dynastorm, or this particular Dynastorm, I want when you look at it to sort of tip its hat to the 211X. Now a massive shout out to Lee Ralph, um, this is the bad boy he's created. Now Lee races, so there's a hell of a lot of different aftermarket parts on there, all designed to make this thing run way better. Obviously you guys know I'm not at that level, um, it's more about looks than performance for me. but. Um, yeah, I've been speaking to Lee a lot, so I can't thank Lee enough. Um, and he's been giving me information on this car and what he did to his. Um, 
But when I originally got this, um, what I really, really, really wanted to do was make this an actual 211X tribute car. So I got hold of um, Nick on the Tamiya Legends great Facebook group who does our car, or does carbon bits and I sent him pictures of this, the actual 211X car. Now I really apologise, I can't give I can't give any credit to whose photo this was. I've just pulled these two pictures from Google. I tried to delve into them to, so I could give this gentleman a shout out, but I couldn't find any names. But as you can see, it's got a completely different chassis and more importantly, a different top deck on it and it's full carbon, carbon shot towers. So I asked Nick, is it possible we could kind of make something like that? Now, it was never going to be the correct dimensions. Um, it was just going to be close. Obviously, we could take the dimensions of this chassis lengthwise, width and stuff, but we would have been guessing on the um, width of the lower chassis. And obviously from that, we'd have to kind of make some guesses for that fancy shape top deck. Anyway, he said it could be done. And I was kind of, right, that's what I want to do. But then I was speaking to Lee and he was like, I don't think the um, Dynastorm shell will fit over that that new, that new 211X um, top deck. So I was like, this is, you can see now, this is a 211X body. It's, it's, it's a lot flatter than the Dynastorm is. So it would hit on the corners. I don't think it would sit flat. So that really scuppered my plans and I was a little bit gutted about that. Anyway, um, Fiberlite do a full carbon chassis set for this. So I've actually ordered that already. So that comes with the full lower chassis, um, carbon front and back towers. This motor guard is in carbon. The battery strap um, plate is in carbon and also the top deck. Now, I need to speak to Lee again because the Dynastorm top deck goes from there and it ends there. It's just that and then you've got this battery box. Whereas the Fiberlite full carbon goes from the front of the car all the way to the back. So I need to speak to Lee and figure out if I need any bits. Um, first of all, I'm not sure if the battery box comes out when you do that conversion. Um, or if I have to cut this battery box up, maybe. I, I honestly don't know. But obviously if that has to come out, then it's going to need some standoffs in at least probably two positions. Um, so I need to do some research on that. But we've got all the carbon on order, um, which is the main thing. Um, as I say, the MCI decal for the active power motor is on its way. Now, Lee, this I'll show his picture again. Those, those shocks are actual Dynastorm shocks. But when he was doing a 211X tribute, what he did was he, he, what would you say, I was going to say cleaned, he got rid of the blue anodized colour on all four shocks and obviously the silver under there. Now, that, it, that makes it look like the 211X, more like high caps, and that's how the 211X shocks were. So I'm, I'm planning to do that as well. So that'll be on a separate video, but we'll strip those back and have it looking raw, um, which will be mega cool. Um, on, and I'll say once, once it's got the full carbon on it as well. Now, after I've made this video today, this body shell and wing are, are getting sent off to Craig in the UK to paint for me. Um, I want to give this a really kind of special paint job. Um, now, with it being an original shell, I've got to get this idea right in my head of how I want it to look. So I've spoken to Craig. Um, I'm going to... It's a bit embarrassing, but I am going to copy a little bit of, of Lee's design on his. I, li I like how it's painted, but I am going to I'm going to I'm going to copy the design slightly, but I'm going to change the colours up. So my plan is to have the blue sides as as Lee's does. Um, basically, I'm going to use the modern day TRF colours. So it'll have the blue, the pink, the silver, and the white. Um, so the idea is the blue down the big side. A, like a two mil um, stripe going up as Lee's has, then all that section will be the pink in a big thick stripe, which will go up onto the roof, and then to, to and then another silver, and then the rest of it will be white. That's the plan I've got in my head right now. The wing I've got to do a little bit more thinking about, but I'm thinking the main wing will follow because the roof's going to be, well, it's either going to be pink or white. See, I need to work this out. Whatever the colour is coming off the roof, will that'll run into the main wing. I'm thinking at the moment it's going to be white, and then the wing sides I want in the blue. So a full white wing, blue sides, and then I want like a two mil pink line going right round the, the outside of the wings, the wing ends. 
that's what I'm thinking right now. Now, as you've probably seen on Lee's um, beautiful piece of kit he's done, he, he put some 211 X decals on, which are really cool. Now, I asked Craig if he could kind of do something similar for me, but do it in paint, because those, cause, well, obviously there's no such thing as 211 X decals, but you can make them from other TRF decals, but I've been looking for them and I can't find any. So Craig thinks he can do it in paint. Um, now, I don't want to completely rip what Lee's done and copy it for myself, but I really do like it. And it's, you know, it's I want this to be a one-off. Um, so I'm right now I'm thinking I may, I, I might do the, the 211X painted on here. Um, but a little bit more importantly, I might see if Craig can do it a little bit smaller and paint it on the wing sides as well. And then possibly with a TRF decal in the middle. And then, and then we'll see. I will have the Dynastorm decals here when I come to do that with a mixture of TRF decals. And then finally, I also spoke to Craig because obviously like, you can dye these wheels with them being nylon. Um, but I asked Craig if he could paint them for me if I send the wheels with this. And uh, he thinks he can. He thinks he's got some primer. Obviously, um, match the paint with the shell to the wheels and then gloss over it. So that's the plan. So I'm going to send those off as well. Um, and they'll be the TRF pink to match the body shell. That's my idea. It might be sounding horrendous to you guys. I don't know. But in my head, that paint scheme is going to work. <laughs> So there's lots to do, it's very expensive, but at the end of it, I just want something like Lee's got. I just want something you can look at and you go, yeah, I know what that is, that's, that's cool. And that's, that's what I want this to be. Um, again, yeah, this will run, we'll get it on the track, um, we'll do all that good stuff, but at the end of all that, I just want it to be, to, to be sat there and even if you don't see all the carbon on it and whatever when the shell's on, it's just nice for me to know that I've kind of done it. Who knows, we may do a lot more to it. Um, there's other bits and bats you can buy, um, which I probably could leave for a different video. So we can do more to it, but um, it's, you know, the cars cost me 340 quid right now. The carbons cost me another 110. Um, we've got to get this shipped off. You know, it all adds up to UK, then I've got to pay for it getting painted, pay for it getting sent back to me. Um, you know, decals and that, it all, adds up and all of a sudden you know I'm at what am I at 450 you know you can say there we're up to about 520 quid with this car when everything's done without doing any more you know I don't really need to have any more money in it than that um, anyway I think I'll shut up but you get the gist of it it's, it's gonna be mega mega cool so guys thanks so much for watching it's really appreciated if you are new to this channel if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us and if you do that smash that notification buzzer for our weekly buzzer it's a bell isn't it smash that notification bell for our weekly videos and as always guys happy our scene